Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over using Doodly in your Facebook ads. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Facebook allows you to make several different types of video ads. In-stream, newsfeed, stories, and sponsored posts are just a few examples. Now with an in-stream ad, this is a video that you're going to see when you're watching another video. So say you're watching a funny video and it pauses halfway through and shows you an advertisement. Well, that's an in-stream video ad. Newsfeed video ads appear in your newsfeed. So when you're scrolling through your Facebook newsfeed, checking out every all of your friends' posts and whatnot, and you see an advertisement there, that's a newsfeed ad. Now stories are those vertical videos that you see. So you can create a video ad in the stories format. And this is a vertical format, so you need to be aware of that and plan accordingly. And then finally, perhaps the easiest ad of all is the sponsored post. Now with a sponsored post, it's basically a post just like any other post that you would create on your Facebook page. However, when you boost it, your post will now appear to a much wider audience than just your followers. Boosted posts are probably the easiest to create, so consider starting here if you're new to Facebook ads. Before you create your video for Facebook, you'll want to decide which ad type you're going to be using, because you're going to need to export your video in the appropriate format, either horizontal, vertical for the stories, or square. For our example today, we're going to make a square video, which is extremely popular on Facebook and Instagram. You'll notice this doodly example here is a square video. Let's take a quick peek at it. Notice how it's square. It's not the typical horizontal video that we're accustomed to making in doodly. Square videos lend themselves to the Facebook and Instagram newsfeed style, especially because so many people engage with these sites on their mobile phones. The square format fills the screen much better than the traditional horizontal format. So let me show you how to do this. We're going to need to create a new video. So let's go into my videos, create new video, choose whiteboard is fine. Let's give it a name, Facebook square and down here in resolution by default it's a 480p horizontal video by default well we're going to go here and we're going to choose facebook and instagram and now you'll see it's changed into the square and it's a 1000 by 1000 pixel square so i'm going to go ahead and hit create and now you see the same square format that I had in that other example. So we'll create a quick little video here. I like these little dashed squares. And then we'll add a character or two and some text. And I now have a 15 second ad that I would like to publish on Facebook. So let's take a quick preview of it. And that looks great. So we now need to export it so that we can post it on Facebook. So you're going to do just like you normally would. You can go to export. And right now it should be filled here to Facebook and Instagram. And it is. So we just want to double check to make sure. And then we need to save it to our computer and let it do its thing. Okay, so it's done rendering. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it. And you'll see it's perfectly square. And that's exactly what we want. As mentioned earlier, boosted posts are super easy to create. Go into your Facebook business page and create a standard post. Once your post is live on Facebook, click the publishing options button. 
and fill in the form to set your goals, audience, ad duration, and budget. Once everything's set up, click Boost Post Now. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg with Facebook advertising, but I hope it helps you get started. Thanks for watching.